Right. Okay, I'm Brian, and uh, this is a little bit of the CNC machine. I'm just going to, it'll probably be a, a few videos to, to tell you how to work it. Um, let's see here. Uh, first off, if you notice, we have a, a piece of scrap board just sort of clamped to it. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to just see if we can uh, mill out a name or something simple and see what we get. All right. Okay, uh, the software that we're going to use is called EMC, um, or EMC2. Uh, this is an Ubuntu system on an old laptop. Um, and the, the GUI interface for EMC is called Axis. Okay, so here it comes up. EMC is the actual controller, whereas Axis is the, um, is the software that uh, runs it. Okay, and... So basically, um, we have the machine, and down here what you have is you have your G-code, and then up here you have the controls for the machine, um, and you know this takes a little bit of, it's actually worth it to read the instructions. Uh, the big thing you need to know is F1 will turn it off, so if, you, if anything goes crazy, hit F1. Eventually I'll have a, uh, a better... Uh, uh, you know, stop button, but I don't have that yet. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to turn on the machine. That's this guy, and that toggles the power. That's F2. So I'm going to hit F2. Make it focus. I don't know if it'll focus. There it goes. Okay, so, so I have F2 hit, and if I use the arrow keys, you will see, better watch where you are, uh, you'll see they'll start moving. Uh, is it coming toward me? I can't tell. Should be. Okay, it's actually going kind of slow. It's going forward and backwards. I'm actually adjusting the X axis, and if I use the up and down, you'll see the Y is going back and forth. And in this case, if I hit page up and page down, that is my that is my uh, z-axis. So page up, page down, and x, y, and that's how you jog. And a lot of it kind of works exactly like the um, uh, like the other, uh, like the laser cutter. Okay, um, the jog speed, I can really crank this up to about, you know, 20 to 25 inches per minute, like in here. Okay. So 25, and you'll see it, it moves a lot more, it moves a lot faster. Okay. Okay. You see that? And generally speaking, what you have to do is you have to home your machine. Now, since I don't have uh, limit switches on this, I can't have it automatically home. But at some point I'll do that. Okay, so let's, gonna, let's say that that is the home space, and I'm going to make that go just about there. And I'm going to bring that z-axis all the way down until it just touches, okay? Got that? Now if you look over here, my uh, oh, darn thing, I can hit home the axis. So I can click on X and I can hit home and then Y and hit home, and then Z and hit home, okay? Now, if you look at, uh, let's see if I can sweep this thing up a little bit. So there is, there is my whole machine, and it's going to start right there, and then it'll start cutting this EMC2 axis, okay? And that EMC2 axis is basically the code that this thing is set to, to do. Okay, and if you look at the code, I don't know if you can see this real well. Um, let's see here. Uh, this this uh, pound one. These are variables. Okay, and if you see pound two, the cut depth is 0 0.01 inches. Okay, so so if I were to start this thing, you will see. Oops, I don't want to. Let me pull that back up a little bit. Okay. If you see 
G20, I'm not sure what that one does. Um, but then it says go to Z axis. Being, G20 probably means go back to home. And then the Z, Z1 will mean drop it down 0 0.01 inches, okay? And, and then it would just start going. Now what I'm going to do here, I'm going I'm to pull that Z axis up a little bit. Again, F1 will stop the machine, okay? So I'm going to be ready with F1 in case it screws up. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and, and home, home that Z axis. So I'm going to tell Z that that is zero, okay? So it's not going to cut anything um, right now. Uh, and, and what I can do is I can test to see that the X, Y is going, and then, and then we'll let the Z go. Um, I'm going to go ahead and hit run. There's no point in me turning on the router because because the Z is where it is, okay? But again, I'm going to be ready to hit F1 if I need to. So it would actually be cutting at this point. See how that works? So it's cutting the M. Okay, and we're still above. It likes to talk to you. <laughs> Okay, so now it's going to cut the, um, the A. Now, oddly enough, I wasn't really thinking about this. It turns out that going, it's actually cutting, this is my x-axis coming this way, and my y-axis is like that. So it's actually cutting it a little bit cattywampus. In other words, I should have probably clamped that thing coming across this way. And maybe we'll do that before we start. Make sense? I was like, why didn't this seem to work? <laughs> and one of the things I want to do is I want to, I want to make this, these wires uh, go here so I can move this thing out here. So that way my X really is where X should be mm -hmm. as opposed to where so Y like should be. It's a map almost, right? Yeah. Um, so let's see here. Uh, go, ahead and, go ahead and hit pause.